At least once a day I'm getting this question. Why on earth does WAPI has a concurrency limit? And what does that mean? So today's video, it is all about that. And I'm going to give you some insights with the hope that you understand better what concurrency actually means and how that impacts your AI voice assistants. If you don't know who I am, my name is Janis Mohr. I run my own AI agency that helps businesses like yours to understand and leverage voice AI. My aim with these videos is to help you educate yourself on voice AI and how you can leverage it inside of your company just so you become better with it and get started in an easy way without starting completely from scratch. So if you are new to voice AI, let me give you an intro to call concurrency specifically with WAPI. Imagine you have a call center with a total of 10 employees. Each of those employees can have a maximum of one call which limits you to a total of 10 calls at a time. Now with technologies those limitations are fairly similar. Instead of having humans as a limitation imagine that we have something like a GPU that basically is required for making a call. So the more calls we need to make the more GPUs we need to reserve. So by default WAPI allows you to have 10 concurrent calls at any given time with your account or your organization. So why 10 concurrent calls doesn't sound like a lot it actually is, especially if you work with inbound agents. So from our experience, we honestly don't see it often that clients that use inbound agents run into those concurrency limits. It is a different story if we are talking about outbound agents, because we often see it that people come in with massive lead lists and they want to have them called all at the same time, and there it is a higher chance that you actually reach those kind of limits. However, there are ways around that that we are leveraging for our clients, which is like we are, for example, batching the calls, which means we break the whole lead list down and we execute, let's say, 50 calls at a time, we run through those and then we do the next 50 calls, etc. This limits the amount of calls that are done at the same time and the chances are way, way lower that we run into something like a concurrency limit. But now what does this concurrency limit mean if we actually translate it to data and numbers? Here are some insights on how we specifically handle that inside of our agency. If you are one of the people that run bigger outbound campaigns with lead lists of thousands and thousands of addresses, I definitely recommend you to bulk down those calls. So let's say you, you send them out in 50 calls each time as a bundle. I also have a video about that available. It's probably linked somewhere up here so you can take a look at it and understand how that works if you use something like make.com. So in our agency we prefer to do that somewhere between the 50 and 100 call mark but it always depends on the quality of your caller so the instructions that you basically set inside of your prompt and as well the lead list that you actually bring along. And in case it's really really good and we get a very very good result of the calls that we are making we do analysis on top of that which means we check the transcripts and we actually see how many of those calls happened at the exact same time and how long they took so we get a better understanding of how many calls we can make at a given time based on the lead list and the results and the actual calls that we get. Now, there still is potential that whatever you're building requires more concurrent calls than 10. And in those cases, we usually have the possibility of onboarding the clients on a custom plan with WAPI. So as a rule of thumb, we usually don't onboard anyone on a custom plan if they are below 25,000 minutes a month, because even that is still on the safe side of not running into any kind of concurrency issues. And like I mentioned, if it's outbound campaigns, you can literally just schedule them. And if it's inbound campaigns, barely anything that is below those 25K mark is actually actually running into concurrency issues. And even if it is, let's say you have inbound calls that are all just scheduled for a specific time. Let's say you have a release of something happening and everyone tries to call at the exact time and trying to get information about the release. Then we can also bump that up. That is definitely a possibility, but it is usually nothing that mo the majority needs to worry about. So now in case you are one of the few people that actually manages it to reach this concurrency limit, most of the times there are definitely ways that we can help you to get on a custom plan. Feel free to just reach out to our team and we are in touch with Wappi to manage and see if there's anything that suits your specific needs so we can offer you a plan for that. But like I mentioned, this is usually on the rare case and only necessary if you're already doing a massive volume before that. So definitely try the other methods that I just mentioned. So either bulk that calls if you make outbound calls or if you run inbound calls, you probably will be around the 25,000 minutes mark per month. Before that, it's very hard to reach that in the first place. And I hope everything that I told you so far actually helps you a little bit of understanding the concurrency on VAPI itself because we really see a lot of questions about that. So this hopefully clarifies that whole setup. And my question to you is if you have ever run into any of those concurrency issues, feel free to drop me the answer down below in the comments. And thanks for watching. That's all I got for you now. See you next time.